This is part two of using Cinema 4D with After Effects. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic scene for Cinema 4D. So every time you open it up, it has the settings you want. So um, I'm in After Effects right now, and I'm just going to go to File, New, Maxon Cinema 4D file. And we have to give this a name, so I'll call it, um, I'll just call it Cinema 4D. Now this opens up Cinema 4D Lite version 14. Um, I'm just going to resize the window. So in the last lesson we basically changed some of these settings but um, every time I open it up it's basically back to 800 by 600 and 30 frames a second. Basically every time uh, I create a new Cinema 4D file in After Effects I want it to have uh, 720p settings because uh, I usually work with 1280 by 720 at 25 frames a second. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do this. I'm just going to set the width to 1280, the height to 720p, lock ratio. That automatically sets it to HDTV 16x9. Frame rate, I'm going to make 25. And in the project settings here, I'm going to make this 25 frames a second. If you don't know how to get to this panel, it's just edit project settings. So just make sure it's 25 here and 25 in the render settings. I'm going to set the frame range to all frames. We've only got 75 frames, so I'm just going to increase this to 200 frames. And that updates here. So these are basically the settings I want. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to go File, Save As. Now I have to find After Effects. So I'm just going to go to Program Files, Adobe. I'm going to go to Adobe After Effects CC 2014. Support files, uh, plugins, C Cineware AE, support, and finally, uh, this default Cinema 4D file. We want to replace this. So I'm just going to double click it, click yes, and that's it. So now I'm just going to close this, and I'm going to close After Effects as well. Don't save anything. I'm going to restart After Effects. And now I'm going to create a new Cinema 4D file. Again, I'm just going to give it a name, quick VFX, save it anywhere you want. Frame rate is set to 25 frames a second. And in render settings, it's set to 1280p by 720, 25 frames a second. So this is good. So every time we open this uh, scene file, it's always going to have the same settings. Uh, we that we use all the time. I'm just going to create a cube. Um, I'm actually just going to get rid of the floor. I'm just going to animate this cube uh, from 0 to 200. Just make it move like this, keyframe here. And I'm just going to save this back to After Effects. And we have our file here. So in the last tutorial, I showed you some of the basics. Uh, I just wanted to show you one other thing. Uh, the render set the software. I'm going to make it standard final. So an advantage of this type of workflow is I'm just going to create a background. Something like a light gray. And I'm just going to move this below. So we have this animation in After Effects looking great. And we can add a drop shadow to this. We can add all the layer styles to this Cinema 4D uh, layer. So I can add a drop shadow, which is pretty cool. But we can also add effects directly to the Cinema 4D file. So if I just click it, effect, simulation, drizzle, and now we're getting this kind of cool uh, drizzle effect just applied to that cube. And the drop shadows are taking the shape of this deformed kind of object. I'm just going to preview this quickly. So I'm just playing this back now and um, it's just a quick example but uh, I think it demonstrates simply the potential you can get from this type of workflow between After Effects and Cinema 4D. In the next lesson we're going to take a look at uh, some more interesting things we can do. If you found this useful please share it and thanks for watching.